Well, thank you very much, Lottie. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to warmly welcome you to this special event, the Chain Conferences. This event, all chemists in the Netherlands have gathered here today. In view of science and because of UNESCO's International Year of Chemistry. You're not the audience that I have to convince about the beauty of chemistry, about the inspiring effect it has, or about chemistry being a creative science. But still, I cannot help myself. I cannot help myself in showing you four examples of just that. Let me take you to my first example. What do we see here? Some of you might say it's the tiniest four-wheel drive ever. I'm telling you, it's a single molecule. It's a single molecule able to propel itself by the use of light as an energy source. It's basic research. Basic research done by Ben Feringa. Can you imagine in five or ten years' time the applications it might have? Let me take you to my second example. My second example is research done by Bert Weckhuizen. He studied a catalyst, a catalyst responsible for the conversion of crude oil into gasoline and other fuels. And he discovered that not every catalyst particle functions at goose as the other. Some of them function very well and others very poorly. By identifying this process, by learning about this process, we might be able to construct better catalysts in the future, better catalysts to convert crude oil into gasoline. Can you imagine the economic value of this? Let me show you my third example. My third example is research performed by Nico Sommersdijk. And Nico was able to elucidate, elucidate the process of human bone formation. And in his laboratory, he's able to grow human bone, to artificially grow human bone. Can you imagine the effect that will have on society? Replace human bone, where there are no longer, for instance, human bone in humans. Magnificent. Let me take you to my fourth and last example. And with this example, I would like to show you, I would like to show you the broad impact of chemistry. What do we see here? Some of you might say it's a painting. Others will tell you it's an ensemble of molecules. An ensemble of molecules. And with the property of the single molecules, Joris Dick was able to reveal another ensemble of molecules and together this is huge information huge information which can tell you a lot about the original painting for instance it helps a lot by attributing this painting to the original creator in this case Goya it's the one and only Dutch Goya painting ladies and gentlemen the Netherlands is good in chemistry. We are a leading nation in chemistry. We're number three in the world. And to my opinion, that's largely due to a very strong knowledge infrastructure. And I know some of you are worried at the moment because science policy is changing. Government tends to move away a bit from research funding and wants the market to take a chair. But I can tell you, NWO Chemical Sciences will stand firm for a strong knowledge infrastructure. But we need you to help us with that. And I know in some of your minds are thoughts of moving away from the Netherlands, going abroad, going abroad in the footsteps like Robert Dijkra. And don't take me wrong, I'm thrilled with the fact Robert is going to Princeton. But still, we're losing another excellent scientist for the Netherlands. So I want you 
to stand side by side to get a widow, to secure a strong knowledge infrastructure for the Netherlands. Only together we can make this happen. And these three days, these three days are perfect. Three days to team up, to connect, to set the first steps in securing our knowledge infrastructure, in securing our position as a leading nation in Guinness Book. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a joyful conference and above all, lots of inspiration. Thank you very much.